you know it's rare that I give a message like this you know normally when you hear from me these days it's normally regarding PE slick podcast so as part of my podcast you know normally I interview a guest something that I've done maybe a month or so in advance because I post once a week and today on Valentine's Day which is a loving day I'm going to take the time to give a message kind of a end of the week February month message from P.E. Slick Podcast with your host Ranger Matt here my message for people in general in terms of what I've been experiencing on the road recently is we really gotta get in the habit of caring for each other and having self love for one another the terminology that we have is three words love faith and respect those are the key words you gotta keep in mind in today's society to apply yourself each day to survive in today's world those three words are really a lot of what we don't have today because the world is so far gone we need to have more love for one another even if it's, even if you feel as though somebody don't deserve it everybody needs to show love and care for some somebody because everybody needs somebody it's tough being alone you got to have faith in believing that through the tough times in life God is going to open up doors for you and things are going to change and lastly respect you got to have respect for yourself and you got to have respect for other people and one of the things that's still going on in today's society I remember talking with somebody about this today there's still a lot of racism going on out here in this world and people we gotta really get into a habit of understanding that it really doesn't matter what race or color you are I don't care if you're black white blue green orange I don't care if you're African Japanese, Asian, Latino, Hispanic, Mexican, everybody out here is a man and a woman. It doesn't matter what color your skin is or what race you came from. And we gotta get in the habit of respecting one another and caring for one another and treat each other as human beings, as a man and as a woman. Us men, we got to be the alpha, the alpha male. We got to be the strong individual to be the leaders. It can be a woman too. I, I'm not saying that it can't. But I'm just saying for us men, we got to do better. Stop calling women bees. Pull your pants up. Stop hanging it and getting high and all that. Set a better example because down the road, year 50 years from now, if you're not already a parent, you're going to be a parent someday. And when your kid get, hits 10 or 20, don't you want them to live a better world? How are you going to have that and show that if you can't get yourself together? Same thing for us ladies. Ladies, please, have better class. Not cursing, weaves, and everything else going on out here. we got to show a better example for the next generation. We have to check ourselves out. And if we check our own selves out, we can help somebody. We can give guidance. Dominique Brightman, a book author and longtime friend that I've known way back since third grade. The quote that he always uses is advance others to advance yourself. And he'll sometimes say it vice versa, advance yourself to advance others. It's really important nowadays to really look at yourself and better yourself. Now nobody is perfect, I know that much. We're all sinners. But we have to own up to what's going on in our lives today and make better choices so we can possibly help somebody else that's in need. Especially somebody that's not a church goer and may need a church home. Um, just, just need positive guidance because there's so much negativity going on out here. Everything that's going on in the election and stuff that's going on with Trump. Guys, that's, no, that's a whole other story. I'm not even going to get into all that. But guys... Let's be better at ourselves, okay? Let's show common 
Let's show common respect. Let's love. Let's have faith. No negativity allowed, which is a quote that Dominique Brightman has when he goes everywhere. No negativity allowed. And that's a quote that I've used. And that's a quote I've heard other people use. Let's be positive. Let's wake up each day thinking God for waking us up every day. And tell, let's tell ourselves, if anything out of this whole message I'm giving you guys today, tonight, listen to this here. Today, you should tell yourself that today is going to be a good day. Today, something good is going to happen. Today is going to be a blessing. Something good is going to come out of my life today. If you can get up in the morning and tell yourself that you're already on the road of positivity to possibilities. That is a quote that I use most of the time anyway. It's positivities to possibilities. And when you have that, anything in life is possible. So let's 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 start that today, folks. Let's get in the habit of having faith, having love, having respect. No racism, you know, everybody is everybody. We may not understand what people do because everybody has their own goals or has their own ways, and you know. But everybody as individuals are a person. Everybody is a man. Everybody is a woman. And it's a shame that there's still a lot of racism going on out here in this world because I, I've seen that on the road when I'm making my deliveries. We got to change that. If you people out there are still racist and still in their 50s and 60s and 40s time zone mind, do yourself a favor. Dig yourself in one of them 10 4 by 4 holes. Stick yourself in there. Bury yourself in there. And stick yourself in there real hard where the sun don't shine. Because we can no longer be the caboose of society. we got to stand forward and take a stand as individual and as one another. Because in this trying times, every day is a change. Everything is a challenge. The technology is advancing. Stores are closing left and right. Every time you turn the news on, there's always something going on with the shooting. People are leaving here. And if it ain't with the police, it's with one another. Let's stop shooting each other too, folks. Let's love each other. Respect love and faith positivity the possibilities waking up thanking god waking you up that, that, that each day and knowing that something good is going to come your way and when you greet somebody out there in this world i don't care what race color they are you greet that person you tell them good morning hey how you doing give them a smile put on the best you that you know that you are you may be going through a dark time or a bad time, but deep down, there's something positive about you. God gave each one of us our own talent, our own stabilization, our own method. And instead of trying to factor off of what somebody else is doing, we got a factor of what we got on our own. That's probably how it always starts with, you know, like a singing group, you know, you got a group of guys or girls and that lead singer or somebody wants to go solo. They want to explore their own talent. We all have our, have our own talent and we got to explore that. So I know I said a lot just now. Y'all probably going, well, where's he going with this? He done said this and he's saying this, he's saying this. But what I'm trying to say, like I said at the top of the show, you got to have respect for one another. Tomorrow is not promised. You got to leave the past in the past and reach out. Love your family. Love your friends. If you haven't talked to somebody that you know of in a while, reach out to them right away because tomorrow is not promised, folks. I'm telling you, take the time and leave what's in the past in the past because you can't change what happened yesterday. You can't change what somebody did yesterday. You can't change what happened last year, last month, yesterday. You got to focus on what's going on today. You got to have respect. You got to have love. Love yourself. Even if you're having a bad hair day, beard day, I don't care. <laughs> Clothes day, whatever. Love yourself. Love one another. So what if that person gets on your nerves? Deal with it. That person could benefit your life one day. 
You may work with somebody who don't speak English well. Let me tell you, they may not speak English well, but maybe you can show them something. Show them. And I gotta give them credit too. The um, Hispanics, Mexican, Latinos. All of them may not speak English that well, but they're just like us. Men and women. The men are the men are the alpha males, and the ladies are the talented, beautiful ones. They're talented just like we all are. Everybody, it doesn't matter who or what you are. You are a special, you are a talented person. You are a blessing that God wants you to be. Have faith, believe in. Reach out to a pastor if you have to. And pastors, assistant pastors, let's get in the habit of doing more preaching. More reaching out. We have to. Don't get in the habit of just preaching on a Sunday and then calling it a day. You got to reach out to people. Reach out on Friday. Reach out on Saturday. Reach out prior to Bible study. Let's get into that, folks. Let's get into that, pastors. Like I said, take the time and give love to somebody. Go out there now if you're out there. Go out there tomorrow. Positivity in this thing, you and then give it to somebody that's in need because nine times out of ten, that person could brighten up your mood or brighten up your day. Don't worry about what happened yesterday or in the past. We can't change that. Nobody is perfect. We're all sinners. Things happen. You got to move forward. You got to stand tall. Be proud. Be bold. Be brave. Be encouraging and give encouragement to somebody who's in need. Advance yourself so you can help advance somebody else that's in need. Because we all, like I said earlier, we all need somebody. We all need a friend. We all need somebody out here. But the main thing that we know we got to have is God in our lives. Because God loves us. He created us. And he is the reason why each one of us are here today. Let's have faith. Let's have love. Let's have positivity, the possibilities. Let's advance ourselves to help others. If you don't understand half of what I just said on this podcast, message for the month of February, I'm going to just leave you with this. I don't care what you may think or say about me. If we haven't talked in a while, I'm sorry. I love you guys. All men and women. My men, you my brothers, the ladies, y'all my sisters. Except my future wife. <laughs> but look, look. I love you guys. Keep following my podcast. Each week there's always gonna be something new. I'm gonna possibly do another positive message next month of March. And stay tuned for my interview with Tina Sloan and Ron Range from the Guy and Light. Thank you. Have a good night. <laughs>